welcome students in the last session all type of errors and ways to locate them were discussed and today we have to begin with the practical part of rectification the rectification of errors is basically divided in three parts first not affecting the trial balance second affecting the trial balance and the third one correction in the next accounting year starting with the first one that is the errors not affecting the trial balance these are basically two sided errors that is affecting two accounts for example error of principal compensating error complete omission recording correct amount on the correct side but in a wrong account like ram and sham all these errors affect two accounts in the opposite manner with the same amount but both on debit and credit that's why the trial is always tallied the procedure of rectification is very simple we have to look for and correct the error like this point number 1 if debit is less debit more second if credit is less credit more but if debit is more than credit and the vice versa that is if credit is more then you have to debit because we have to correct what is more practically we have to think about the right entry first in our mind so as to be very clear as to what is the right entry where we have to reach and then we have to see what we have done that is the wrong entry and now we will think about the rectification entry so that combined with the wrong entry it gives the right effect to take an example if purchase of say furniture recorded as purchase now what is the right entry furniture debit and cash credit but what you have done wrong entry is purchase debit and cash credit now we have wrongly debited purchase instead of furniture now in order to rectify we will now debit furniture and credit purchase take another example sales to x 15000 recorded in the sale book as 1500 now recorded means recorded in the original book means both the aspects are wrong that is x and sales both are 1500 instead of 15000 now the right entry is debit x credit sale 15000 what you have done is debit x 1500 and credit sale 1500 both the aspects are less so you put one more entry debit x and credit sale both by 13500 so the wrong entry mixed with the rectification entry gives you the right effect 1500 Plus thirteen thousand five hundred is equal to fifteen thousand, right? Take another example of double-sided error. Salary paid to Ram five thousand, debited to Ram account. Now, what is the right entry? Salary account debit, and cash account credit. But what you have done is, Ram account debit. and cash account credit so it means it should have been debited to salary account but you have wrongly debited to ram account now how to rectify it now debit salary credit ram now ram debit was wrong so credit it and you have not debited salary debit it the entry is corrected rectified another important example in this series is credit purchase 5000 from sonu taken as credit sales oh ho 
you have taken sales which was actually purchase so it means you have recorded in sales book instead of purchase book so the right entry is purchase account debit and sonu account credit by 5000 but what you have done is you have debited sonu 5000 and credited sales 5000 now the rectification entry will be we will debit purchase and debit sales by 5000 each and then we will credit sonu by 10000 this way the wrong debit to sonu 5000 is rectified and 5000 credit to sonu which is required is there and the wrong credit to the sale is also rectified by putting it in debit and purchase so we have to debit so please see purchase debit 5000 sales debit 5000 and credit sonu 10000 so we can have some general guiding principles for rectifications which are like this first if any error is committed in the books of original entry it is safely assumed that all the postings are also committed in the same fashion suppose i record 500 instead of 5000 in the original entry so it means posting is also of 500 both are wrong next point but if the error is done at the posting level that means recording in the original book is okay but problem is only in one account for example if we have recorded in sales book 1500 and while posting we have written 150 that means one part is okay sales the other part customer account is wrong one sided error trial will not tell next point if the error is posted to a wrong account but nothing is mentioned for the side and the amount then it is to be assumed that both are correct for example if it is mentioned that instead of ram we have written sham and nothing else is mentioned that means everything else is okay that is amount is okay debit or credit side is okay the difference is only is name trial will tell you next point if the posting is done in a correct account but with the wrong amount it is assumed that side of the account is correct but only the amount is wrong so from the above four points we are able to conclude that whatever is written as wrong it is only that point which is wrong and everything else is assumed to be fine some more points are also there but we will come to them in the next session so that you are able to grasp these points first let us check what we have understood till now by way of few entries entry number 1 repair of second hand plant 2500 charge to repairs now the right entry in this case is plant debit and cash credit because when you purchase a second hand plant till the time you use it whatever expenses you are doing it has to be capitalized and written in the plant account not to the repair account so the right entry is plant debit cash credit but what we have done is we have debited repairs and credited cash now cash in credit is okay so what we have to do is debit plant and credit repairs so that it is rectified also note that this is an error of principle because repairs is a revenue expense and you have written it in place of plant that is capital expense coming to the next point own building constructed out of own stock 70000 and wages 10000 and this entry was omitted 
not recorded at all. Please see, we are constructing building from our own stock and wages which we have paid 10,000. How to do this entry? This is a case of full omission where no entry has been passed. So, now we will pass an entry. Debit building 80,000 and credit purchase 70,000 and wages 10,000. Why purchase is credit? Because goods are used from our own stock that is purchases and wages are credited out of wages paid earlier. When we have paid wages, wages was debit and we are utilizing it in building. So, it will be credited, wages account will come down. Next question, goods withdrawn for personal use debited to miscellaneous expense. Now, this is also a principal error. In this case, it should have been debited to drawings account that is personal account but had been debited to miscellaneous expenses. So, now what we will do is we will rectify it. We will debit drawings and credit miscellaneous expense. I hope it is clear. Let us do some true and false question also with reasoning. First, error of carry forward of the total of purchase journal will affect two side of the account. These are very tricky questions, please listen carefully. Errors of carry forward of the total of purchase journal will affect two side of the account. Answer is false. It will cause difference only in purchase account. Why other account? Because we are just doing the total part wrong of one book. So, it is one error not two sides. Next question, error of principal is incorrect allocation of expenditure between capital and revenue. Of course, the answer is true because recording of transaction in an incorrect manner in contravention of the accounting principle is an error of principle. Coming to our next point error of complete omission. It will be located once a trial is prepared. Oh, the answer is false because complete omission means no debit, no credit. So, how can you get it from the trial? So, both sides are equally wrong, debit is wrong, credit is wrong, but it will tally and we would not be able to track this error through preparation of trial balance right. So, students this brings us to the end of today's session where we studied the practical aspect of double sided errors. In our next session, we will concentrate on single sided errors and rectification in next trading period two topics that is single sided error when there is a suspense account and rectification in next trading period when we forget to rectify in one period, how to rectify in the next period that will be the last topic. Till then happy learning, thanks.